Welcome back to Kyle's Facts Adventurers. Today, we're plunging into the inky depths of the ocean, a place where sunlight struggles to reach and where life takes on strange and wondrous forms. Buckle up, because we're diving deep, deeper than you can imagine, to the deepest part of our planet, the Mariana Trench. This underwater canyon is shrouded in mystery, its dark, pressurized depths home to creatures straight out of a science fiction novel. Get ready to come face to face with creatures that will send shivers down your spine. Are you brave enough? Let's dive in! Our first stop takes us back in time, to a creature that has remained virtually unchanged for millions of years, the frilled shark. Imagine a creature with a serpentine body, almost eel-like, but with a head that seems to belong in a horror movie. This living fossil gets its name from the six rows of frilly gills that line its throat, giving it a distinctly prehistoric appearance. Its jaws are lined with rows upon rows of needle-sharp teeth, over 300 of them, perfectly designed for snagging squid and other deep-sea prey. It lies in wait, almost invisible in the darkness, until an unsuspecting victim swims by. Then, with a sudden burst of speed, it lunges forward, its jaws snapping shut with incredible force. But our journey into the abyss is just beginning, and the Mariana Trench has many more secrets to reveal. Next, we descend even deeper, into the realm of perpetual darkness, where we encounter a creature that seems to embody the very essence of the abyss, the black dragonfish. With its elongated body and sharp fang-like teeth, this fish is the stuff of nightmares. But what truly sets the black dragonfish apart is its mastery of bioluminescence. It possesses a chin barbel, a long, whisker-like appendage that dangles beneath its jaw. At the end of this barbell is a bioluminescent organ called a photophore, which emits a soft blue-green light. This lure, like a beacon in the darkness, attracts unsuspecting prey, drawing them closer to the dragonfish's gaping maw. Imagine being a small crustacean, lured in by what you think is a tasty meal, only to find yourself staring into the jaws of a deep-sea dragon. Prepare to be charmed, because our next encounter is with a creature that's both strange and endearing. The Dumbo Octopus. Named after the beloved Disney character, this octopus has two large ear-like fins that protrude from its mantle, giving it a whimsical, almost cartoonish appearance. Those ear-like fins aren't just for show. They help the Dumbo octopus gracefully maneuver through the water, propelling it through the darkness with surprising agility. It's a mesmerizing sight, this graceful dance in the abyss. To survive, the Dumbo octopus has developed a unique hunting strategy. It swallows its prey whole. Our next encounter takes us to the realm of the truly bizarre, to a fish that seems to defy the laws of nature, the barrel eye. Imagine a fish with a transparent head, its emerald green eyes gazing out from within its skull like something out of a science fiction novel. They're not positioned on the sides of its head like most fish, instead, they're located inside its transparent dome, pointing upwards. This unique adaptation allows the barrel eye to scan the waters above for the shadows of prey silhouetted against the faint light filtering down from the surface. It's like having built-in X-ray vision, allowing the barrel eye to spot its next meal even in the darkest depths. The barrel eye's transparent head is another remarkable adaptation, thought to protect its sensitive eyes from the stinging tentacles of the siphonophores, a type of deep-sea jellyfish that it often steals food from. Hold on to your hats, because our next encounter is not for the faint of heart. We're about to meet the Goblin Shark, a creature whose appearance is so unsettling, so utterly bizarre, that it seems to have sprung straight from a nightmare. This shark has a long, flattened snout resembling a sword blade that protrudes from its face like an elongated beak, and if that wasn't strange enough, its jaws are even more peculiar. They're attached to ligaments that allow them to extend outwards with lightning speed, snapping up prey with incredible force. In the abyss, where food is scarce, the goblin shark has evolved to become an ambush predator, lying in wait for unsuspecting prey to wander too close. Our next stop takes us to a world of shimmering lights and silvery reflections, to meet a creature that seems to be made of living metal, the marine hatchetfish. These small, laterally compressed fish are named for their thin, hatchet-shaped bodies, but their most remarkable feature is their ability to disappear. 
The marine hatchetfish is covered in specialized scales that act like tiny mirrors, reflecting light and making it nearly invisible to predators looking up from below. It's a brilliant camouflage strategy, allowing the hatchetfish to blend in with the faint, shimmering light filtering down from the surface. By adjusting the intensity of this light to match the light filtering down from above, the hatchetfish can further camouflage itself, effectively disappearing into its surroundings. Prepare to be both fascinated and disgusted as we encounter a creature that's as macabre as it is intriguing, the zombie worm. These deep-sea scavengers, also known as bone-eating worms, have a taste for the dead, specifically the bones of whales and other large marine animals that sink to the ocean floor. They secrete acids that dissolve bone, releasing nutrients that are then absorbed by symbiotic bacteria living within the worm's bodies. The zombie worm provides the bacteria with a food source, and in return, the bacteria help the worm extract nutrients from a seemingly inedible source. The zombie worm's ability to thrive in such a harsh environment, extracting sustenance from the bones of the dead, is a testament to the resilience of life in the Mariana Trench. Prepare to be mesmerized as we enter a world of ethereal beauty, a realm populated by creatures that seem to be made of moonlight and shadows, deep-sea jellyfish. These gelatinous wonders drift through the abyss, their translucent bodies pulsing with bioluminescent light. Unlike their shallow-water cousins, many deep-sea jellyfish lack stinging tentacles, relying instead on their bioluminescent displays to attract prey or deter predators. Some deep-sea jellyfish, like the giant apolemia, can grow to enormous sizes, their trailing tentacles stretching over 100 feet long. These ghostly giants drift through the abyss, their bioluminescent displays illuminating the darkness like underwater lanterns. Our next encounter takes us to the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, to a place of crushing pressure and unimaginable darkness, to meet the creatures that call this extreme environment home snailfish. These seemingly delicate fish are the deepest living fish ever discovered, found at depths of over 26,000 feet. At these depths, the pressure is over 1,000 times greater than at the surface, enough to crush a human being instantly. Their bodies are gelatinous and lack any air spaces, allowing them to withstand the immense pressure. Snailfish are a testament to the adaptability of life, proving that even in the most extreme environments, life finds a way. Our next encounter is with a creature that's as well camouflaged as it is venomous, the stonefish. These masters of disguise are found on the ocean floor, often near coral reefs or rocky outcrops, where they blend in seamlessly with their surroundings. Covered in wart-like bumps and sporting a mottled brown and gray coloration, the stonefish is a master of blending in. It lies motionless on the seabed, patiently waiting for unsuspecting prey to wander too close. The stonefish possesses 13 sharp venomous spines along its dorsal fin, capable of delivering an excruciating and potentially fatal sting. The stonefish's venom is a potent cocktail of neurotoxins and cytotoxins that attack the nervous system and break down cell tissues. Prepare to be terrified as we encounter a creature straight out of a horror movie, the fangtooth. This deep-sea predator is named for its disproportionately large fang-like teeth, which protrude from its mouth like daggers, giving it a menacing grin. The fangtooth's teeth are so long they wouldn't even fit inside its mouth if it closed it completely. Instead, they slide into special pockets in the roof of its mouth when its jaws are closed. In the abyss, food is scarce, so when a fangtooth encounters prey, it needs to make sure it doesn't let its meal escape. Those enormous fangs ensure that once the fangtooth sinks its teeth in, its prey isn't going anywhere. Our next encounter is with a creature that's as important as it is unassuming, the sea cucumber. These sausage-shaped echinoderms, relatives of starfish and sea urchins, play a vital role in the deep sea ecosystem. Sea cucumbers are often called the vacuum cleaners of the deep because they feed on detritus, organic matter that drifts down from the surface helping to keep the ocean floor clean. As they feed, sea cucumbers break down organic matter, releasing nutrients back into the ecosystem, making them essential for maintaining the health of the deep sea environment. These creatures play a vital role in the ocean's delicate balance. Our journey into the abyss takes a sinister turn as we encounter a creature that embodies the darkness of the deep, 
the Black Sea Devil. This anglerfish is a master of deception, using a bioluminescent lure to attract prey in the pitch black depths. Imagine a fish with a jet black body, almost invisible in the darkness, except for a single glowing lure that dangles from its head like a fishing rod. This lure, called an esca, is filled with bioluminescent bacteria that emit a soft eerie light. The black sea devil uses its esca to attract prey, wiggling it enticingly in the darkness. Unsuspecting fish, drawn to the light, swim closer, only to find themselves face to face with the sea devil's gaping maw. The males, much smaller than the females, are essentially parasites, attaching themselves to the females and fusing their bodies to hers. Our final encounter takes us to the depths where nightmares are made real, to meet a creature with a fearsome reputation. The viperfish. This deep-sea predator is named for its long, needle-like teeth, which protrude from its mouth like the fangs of a venomous snake. The viperfish is a master of ambush, using its dark coloration to blend in with the shadows and its bioluminescent photophores to attract prey. These photophores, located along its sides and belly, emit flashes of light that lure unsuspecting fish closer. When it spots prey, it launches itself forward with incredible speed, its jaws snapping shut with bone-crushing force. The viperfish is a true monster of the deep, a creature that embodies the darkness and danger of the Mariana Trench. As we slowly ascend from the depths, back to the world of sunlight and air, we can't help but feel a sense of awe at the incredible creatures we've encountered. The Mariana Trench, a place of crushing pressure, frigid temperatures, and perpetual darkness, is a testament to the resilience of life. The creatures that call this extreme environment home have adapted in ways we're only beginning to understand, developing unique strategies to survive and thrive in a world that seems utterly alien to us. The Mariana Trench is a reminder that our planet is full of mysteries and that there's still so much we don't know about the world around us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating deep-sea facts.